Hello and welcome to Ibo Academy. My name is Choma. Today I'm going to teach you two ways to tie a wrapper like an Igbo woman. Many people don't tie wrappers because they don't know how to tie. So now is the season, this festive season. And I want to give a shout out to my subscribers. Today I just clocked 10, 100 subscribers. That's why I'm so happy and I'm going to do this video. So this is the first way of tying a wrapper. You bring the edge and bring the other end and you put it under. Look at how I put it under. Look at how it went under. So make sure it goes under. You tie it two times or three times to make sure your wrapper doesn't fall out of your waist. Then you tie it again. It goes round your waist or your tummy and you bring it down. When you get to the length you want, you bring everything down. You fold it down and it looks like a skirt. A skirt yes. And after that, you tie the second wrapper. The one you tie on top of the base wrapper so you tie it on top and voila you've tied your wrapper nothing i mean nothing will make your wrapper fall off your waist if you tie it like this this is like one of the best ties of tying a wrapper so many people don't like tying wrappers because they don't know how to tie it very well they don't want to be tying ropes on their waist <laughs> on their waist so that's why they don't tie wrappers. And now is the season, this festive season. Now the people are coming back for Christmas. Because you have to attend occasions. And you'll be, need, you'll be made to tie wrappers. Like if you're going for a women meeting. A Christian mother's meeting. A women group meeting. The, you, you, you be compo, comp, it will be compulsory for you to tie a wrapper. And this is how you tie a wrapper. Make sure you tie it very well. Once you do it like this, make sure the the back, the second, yes, the other one goes under, under. Make sure it's going under, not on top. Because if it goes on top, it's going to give a different thing. But if it goes under, you're going to tie the wrapper. It's not going to hold your leg. You're going to tie it very well. And with that, your, your wrapper is not going to fall. Look at how I'm tying it. I tied this one two times. But you can tie it three times if you don't trust to tie. Then it goes around your waist. And you fold it very well to get the length you want on your leg. Remember to spread your leg whenever you're tying the Make sure the first thing you do whenever you want to tie any wrapper is to make sure you spread your legs very well. So that when you're walking, it won't hold you on your leg. You can move, you can take giant steps as much as you can because you don't have to hold you on your, on your legs. Now look at the wrapper, it looks like a skirt. And you can just tie the second one on the base wrapper on top. Now, this is the second way of tying a wrapper. In secondary school, this was what we used to tie in the dormitory most of the time. But you used to hold our legs. But now you have to spread your leg. The first thing you have to do whenever you want to tie a wrapper is to spread your legs very well. So that it doesn't affect your steps. Then you tie it at the back. You see the way I'm tying it? This is the first tie. This is the second tie. Then if you still have space, you can tie the third one. If you don't trust your tying, you have to tie it very tight. And arrange the wrapper how you want it to be. You see, I'm, I'm raising my legs up. Because with this, nothing, nothing is going to prevent me from running. Even if I'm tying the wrapper, I can run. I can work very, very well if I'm tying a wrapper. Then you, on the base wrapper, you tie the second one. You see how it's short? You, you, you fold it, you get to like half of the wrapper and you tie it. And with that, you are good to go to any meeting. You're good to dance at any way. Even if anyone should fall off, it should be the second one that you tied on top. The top one, not the base one. The base one is just here. Nothing is going to pull it off your waist. Then if you want to lose it, you can turn your back. You can lose it. It's very easy for you to lose because you tied it by yourself. Don't tie what you can lose. Don't tie what you can lose. So that is the second part. I'm going to repeat the first one again so that most of you that didn't see it before, you see it very well. Okay, I'm tying the second one for a second time. I'm tying it again so that you see how I tied it. You bring the two tips of the wrapper 
and make sure it gets to your back your back before you tie it make sure the two of them spread your legs very well make sure it gets to your back before you tie it you can see as i'm tying it here very easy and very simple i know what it took me <laughs> to know how to tie a wrapper it, it it wasn't easy it wasn't easy but now i can do it very well and i hope by teaching you you should learn how to do it very well and teach others share this video give it to others you know whenever they are cutting the wrapper they don't cut all of them the, the base one and the top one to be the same it has to be different the base one will be some inches longer than the top one because to give you extra space to give you extra length of material that you can use to tie so look at the wrapper the tied one already you can make your shakara it's the wrapper you have to tie it very well and be confident the wrapper is what is used to know a married woman in Igbo land that's why most women meeting married women meeting they make it compulsory because most women don't like tying wrappers not because they don't like it but because they don't know how to tie so, and in most of these meetings, they do teach people how to tie wrapper. But if you see how some other people tie wrappers, eh, he will laugh. If you tell people to carry this, uh, to remove the top of the wrapper so you can see the base, how they tie the base. Oh God, you laugh and fall down because you see many people tying their wrapper, holding their wrapper with ropes, with her tie. They will not sit it and hold it. You see, just like old women in the village or market women. You see the way they tie it there, it's very hilarious. You laugh till you get tired of laughing. But once you tie it like this, these two ways are sure ways. This one that is going on, this the first one I thought is the best. It's like the best, especially for those of us that are curvy, that are big and bold. Yes, this is the best tie for us. <laughs> because most of the time, the second tie doesn't go around our waist unless we put rope to hold it. Some people will sew their wrappers and tell the tailor to add extra rope to the material so they can use it to tie. But for us that are not slim, this is the best way for us. You just tie the second one on top and you're good to go. That will be all. Thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe and get more tips from this evil girl get more tips from me <laughs> thank you so much bye